Hey guys, what's up? It's Coach Angie B. And welcome, welcome, welcome to our first ever live coaching session. Okay? Um, I've been meaning to do this, y'all. I've been meaning to do this for a long time. But it's just been challenging. Adulting is hard. Okay? Like, real talk, adulting is a challenge. If you don't know who I am, I'm Coach Angie B. I am the creator and founder of the Exodus Group. We assist people in transitioning and re-education after leaving high control religions. Um, if you want more information, yeah, I was in a high control religion. For me, it was Jehovah's Witnesses for about 20 years. And when I got out of that organization and was forced out of that organization, I had to learn everything everything all over again like all the things all over again okay and I had several people help me out along the way but I'm so glad to have those people help me out along the way but yeah it is still a daily learning experience even being out for over 20 years so you guys take your time understand that you're not alone and you know what just take your time with yourself and be graceful with yourself and that's what i'm here to do is to help you assist you figure out what things you should pay attention to on your journey on leaving high control religions or any type of religion and or <laughs> um how to re-educate yourself re-educate your thoughts re-educate your programming re-educate things that are different out here in this world okay so um, today I want to talk about what uh, today I want to talk about education like what to learn after leaving a high control religion now for most of us coming out there's no script okay um, for me personally I was <laughs> I was an elder's daughter I was a pioneer I was um in a box okay like i y'all was a straight and narrow there's plenty of kids out here right now that i do love i support you guys that figured out that this was a high control religion or a cult long before you got out i am so proud of you guys because i wish i knew i wish i knew oh my goodness but i bought what the organization said hook line and uh, okay like really i just bought it all so when it comes to coming out of this organization and not knowing that I had been suppressed, depressed, oppressed, pressed in, any type of press you could think of, okay? Um, not knowing that I was those pressed and I didn't know who this body or this person was. I got here out here in this world and outside of this organization and literally just jumped all over the place. Um, from bed to bed, from thing to thing, from job to job, from house to house. Not from knocking on doors house to house, but from other people's houses, okay? Because I didn't know. Y'all, I was programmed to believe that I wouldn't hit my 40s, okay? Like, the world was going to come to an end. I would never have children. I would never get married. I would never, all these things. And literally, now I'm living that life. So now I'm having to reprogram and re-educate myself now. Thank you for hearts. Keep them coming, Mark. Um, now I'm having to reprogram and educate myself now because that person is still in there saying this isn't supposed to happen. That person is still in there saying that this is not supposed to, I'm not supposed to do this. I'm not supposed to um, be this person. I'm not supposed to have children. I'm not supposed to uh, get married. I'm not supposed to whatever. And... Now that I'm living this life now, I'm happy to be married, but it's like, whoa, whoa. So wait, I'm married? I'm kind of in my 40s? Like, real talk, that's okay. So today I want to talk about, so you don't go through my experience for the most part. Yes, you're going to... I want to talk about what I want you to talk. I want to talk to you about what to learn so you can live a successful life outside of this organization because they do program you. The first thing you do have to do is re-educate re yourself. I hate to use the word reprogramming, 
But I want you to say re-educate yourself because when you're in this high control organization, they literally tell you that once you leave Jehovah's true worship or whatever, that you will not be successful at all. That you will fail. Like literally, guys, I thought that I was going to have AIDS, 15 children, every STD in America, homeless, and everything all bad was going to happen to me once I left this organization. And because I believed that and because I thought I saw that, some of that did come true. Not the STD part, not the 15 children part, but a lot of that did come true, meaning that I didn't prepare myself for this stuff, okay? Um, yes, I was a little homeless for a while. I was a little, um, I did couch surf for a good long time. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I did experience because I didn't think I had the power. So the first thing I want you to know is that if you believe a higher source or whatever, but first thing I want you to learn is that when you leave this organization is you are not being punished for leaving this organization, period. God, higher source, Jehovah, whoever is not be punishing you for leaving this organization, if you do believe in a higher source or God or whoever, they love you this way. They created you this way. God created me brown with nappy hair, okay? He loves me this way. Why would he force me to be blonde and Caucasian? I can't do that. I can't. I didn't have Caucasian parents. I'm sorry. <laughs> so, first of all, I want you to know that God or your higher, higher being loves you the way you are. Second. I want you to enjoy your life. Learn to enjoy your life and give yourself grace. You're not going to know everything. You're not going, you're not expected to know everything. Hell, even people that have been raised outside this organization don't know everything, okay? They really don't. They really don't. Not everybody outside this organization knows everything. Yeah, they might have a little bit more social skills. Okay, cool. Um, they might know a little. Yes, yes, Summer. Yes, Shumba Shining. You got that power. Yes. Um, yes, they might have a little bit of social skills. Yes, they might know a little bit more about whatever. But we all know about one thing more than somebody else. Okay? And that doesn't mean you're a bad person because you don't know certain things. That goes into my number three. Learn. Learn, 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 learn. Learn on YouTube. Learn on... There's plenty of free colleges online. Take... I, I, go go to class. Go to school. And if you're in school age or whatever, because I think we're all in school age, but if you're one of those people that needs to get out, honestly, school is the best way, I think, to get out of the organization. You know, fade away, okay? Um... So you could go to college and just kind of fade away from the organization, right? Um, learn. Yeah. That fading away power is awesome. So, and the last thing, I, the last thing I want you to know is to, I want you to learn. Hey, hey, hey. The next thing I want you to learn is to learn money. Because at least... And the way that I was raised in the organization did not ever learn more money, okay? I, I was supposed to have, the, the Armageddon was supposed to come way before I was supposed to know anything about a credit score, okay? Get therapy. It is okay to get therapy. Here at the Exodus Group, we do life coaching, which is kind of like therapy, but not. But life coaching or therapy, but get a group of people that you can talk to. I can't tell you, tell you, Shamba Shining knows this. I can't tell you how much it helps to just... Be able to bounce that back off of people when something happens. And you're like, wait, I'm not there anymore. I don't have to be humble to this person. I'm literally pulling my hair out, y'all. I don't have to be humble to this person. I'm going to be, be quiet because there's a man here. Or I don't have to put a little thing over my head because a man was there, right? Like, I can say a prayer with, with a man in a room without me putting something on my head. I remember the other day I was at school and uh, every once in a while they do prayer or whatever. And that's when someone asked me to pray and there's a reverend there and they asked me to pray. <laughs> Y'all was like, uh, 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 third thing I say to study 
is this organization. Educate yourself on this organization. Not from what they tell you, okay? I want you to know worldwide, like real talk, like understand what the CSA cases are. Understand what this doctrine is. Honestly, y'all, I was preaching this organization, preaching for this organization, didn't know the doctrine. When I was doing 90 hours on knocking on the doors, I just thought I gave you a watchtower and you're supposed to jump to the organization, right? No, okay? Like, real talk. Study the organization. Listen to these YouTube channels. Listen to people because, honestly, that's what helped me free myself and open my eyes that, wait, I wasn't the only one feeling compounded and constricted. I wasn't the only one that was felt hurt and abused. And they did this to everybody. And maybe not in this order. Do study yourself. Study and love yourself. Whatever you like is okay. You do not need approval from someone else to go do the things that you want to do. I like a little bit of wine. Some of y'all like a little bit of... Okay. Um, whatever you like to do and find groups that like you doing it. I'm glad that we have Facebook and TikTok and Instagram groups now because you can find people out there that support your groups, that support what you like to do. And that's how we meet friends. Because if I'm happy, if I'm having fun, if I'm out here drinking a little socially or whatever, then I'm going to make some friends and that's what happens. When you understand yourself, when you understand, I don't like, I don't like Brussels sprouts. So why am I in a Brussels sprouts meeting? If I don't like Toyotas, then why am I in a place with Toyotas? Let me go to a place with Fords or something like that. Whatever you're into, get into it and study it. Momo cons, Dragon cons, all that things. Like so much fun. Have fun. And when you start judging yourself, because you will, because we've been programmed to judge ourselves. I still judge myself sometimes, too. Sit down and ask yourself, did I have fun? I was talking to someone the other, the other day, and she was telling me about the first time she actually masturbated. Okay, she was masturbating. And she judged herself for it. And then I said... But didn't God give it to you to play with? <laughs> that was honestly one of my aha moments too. Like God gave it to me to play with. So why? Because how can I? How can I expect my partner to know how to please me if I don't know how to please myself, even sexually? So even when you find out that you like certain things, if you like smoking and not drinking, then that's cool. If you like, if you like, you know, wine and not beer, then cool. If you like Brussels sprouts and not Bananas, then cool. Find people that like those things. You're not the only one with 8 billion people on this planet. You're not the only one that likes those things. And if you feel like you are, then ask me. You can literally DM me if you feel like you're the only one that likes certain things. Ask me, and I bet you we can find a group for you. I promise you, because trust me, y'all, I'm in some weird stuff too, okay? Okay. But the four, the five things I want you to study when you come out of this organization, as a repeat, I want you to learn money because that's what currency we need in this organization. Get therapy. Yes, you're going to need it. Either life coaching or a coaching group, okay? And you can start with to get to this group channel since you're on this channel. Third, study yourself. Love on yourself. Have grace with yourself. If you make a mistake, you made a mistake. Knock, 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 knock. You're human. You're human. You're not perfect. You're human. You're human. You're going to make mistakes. Learn from those mistakes. Try to do better next time. Four, educate yourself on your favorite subjects and on this organization. And five, take your time out to rebuild. We're here for you. We're to get to this group. Um, our board has been doing a lot of amazing things. We've been helping a lot of people. So DM me if you need some assistance. Um, right now, we have a fundraiser going. Go to CoachAngieB.com. Or go to, yes, our link tree above, and you will start our virtual race. We're doing our virtual race again this year where we're going to be able to help more people come out of this high control, uh, other high control religions and this one. 
and I can't wait to be able to support you guys. We're having an event on October 5th at the Best Inn Brewing. So you guys come on, support yourself, come out, um, get this virtual race in so we can get the wellness taken care of, your physical wellness taken care of, and helping others release, get out of high control religions. Um, you guys, you are stronger than you think. I'm so proud of you for even being here. You stayed this long. I'm so proud of you for even knowing what was right or wrong. I'm so proud of you for knowing. Yep, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Shumba Shining. You want to come in? I can invite you in. I'm so proud of you for knowing that this was not a good religion and you stayed true to yourself. I'm so glad that you stayed true to yourself and got out. If you're out. So you guys are stronger than you think. I love you, love you, love you. Talk to you soon. I will see y'all guys next week at 6.30. Bye.